How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a video, but this is also how you can add in animated overlays as you see right here on the screen. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the Stream Elements editor and I'll show you how to set all of it up. Alright, so once you're inside the editor, let's go down to the little plus here. We're going to click on that, go to Static and Custom, click on Video. It's going to give you a blank space here to kind of indicate where that video is going to go but we're going to need to upload a video. So we're going to go to change video, go over here to upload, and you're going to upload whatever video that you want to add. So you're going to be able to do like the WebM format, you can do the MP4 format, and once you have that video uploaded, then go ahead and select it. So I'm going to select the animated overlay here, and it's going to be pretty small. So you have different types of options here underneath the video. You have video size where you can have it scale to fit, or you can have it be set to auto. So if you do scale to fit, you'll be able to just drag the corner until you pretty much fit the entire box. If you do auto, it's gonna automatically do it for you. Once you kind of stretch it out, it will give you a limitation of how far you can do that. If you have any type of audio for it, you can then click on play the audio. It will play that audio in here and everything like that. You'll probably hear it because the editor sometimes will go and emulate that. And you can just click on the little speaker down here at the bottom navigation to go ahead and mute that inside the editor. You can choose to loop it. And if you have any type of actual audio, you can then adjust the volume for it right here inside the editor. You can always go to the position, size and scale and everything like that or style. And you can mess with the width and everything if you want to fine tune it so that way you can get the exact and you can always mess with the opacity as well if you're wanting to make it semi see through when you bring this slider down it will make it a little bit more invisible if you bring it all the way up it puts it at the full 100% color and everything you can even rotate it if you want to so you can rotate them at different degrees if you need to and if you want to center you can center the widget and it will center everything for you once everything is done go up here to the top click on save we're going to click on the little tiny link here the little link chain that's going to copy the link for us and we're going to go to our encoder of choice so as you can see i already have it here but we're going to start fresh so we're going to delete that out and we're going to click on the plus under sources browser source add source give it a name and then we're just going to paste that bad boy in there with a control v as in victor now what we're going to have to do is change this to the actual size of what we had. If we don't, it's going to do something like this. It's going to cut it off. Even if you drag it, it's not going to do anything. So what we need to do is go in here, change this to the size we want it. So 1920 by 1080 and hit done. And now everything is there. And if we have to make any other fine adjustments, we can do that because I messed with it earlier. So. But yeah, you can fine tune that if you don't touch anything like I did. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how you set up videos and everything like that. And if you have multiple videos, you can add multiple video sources inside of the editor. Same thing with images, same things with text. So you can add multiple of them on the same overlay. But if you guys have any questions, let me know inside the comment section below. If this is your first time here and you're enjoying videos like this, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the channel. I have a bunch of videos that cover the tech side of streaming. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you all in the next one.